Good afternoon. The Secretary General and the Prime Minister will deliver short statements. Secretary General. Prime Minister Zelina and the Evika, welcome to NATO. It's great to uh, see you and uh, thank you so much for coming here and uh, meeting with me at your first uh, visit abroad as uh, Prime Minister of, uh, of Latvia. Um, congratulations on your appointment and thank you for your uh, commitment to uh, NATO. Latvia is a highly valued NATO ally. You contribute to our operations in Kosovo and uh, Iraq and you lead by example on defense investment, all of this spending more than 2% of GDP uh, on defense. And you host a Canadian-led battle group, strengthening our deterrence and defense on uh, NATO's eastern flank. Latvia is also one of Ukraine's strongest supporters, providing Kiev with military support and training Ukrainian soldiers. In response to Russia's war, NATO has increased uh, our presence from the Baltic to the Black Sea. In the air, uh, Italian and Spanish jets keep Latvian uh, skies safe. On land, we are enhancing our presence with Can Canada planning to double its troop numbers in uh, Latvia. And at sea, some 30 warships just concluded exercise northern coasts of Latvia's shores. One of our biggest uh, exercises in the region. Testing high-end naval warfare and sending a clear message of NATO's vigilance. Today in our meeting we addressed Russia's war against Ukraine. Ukraine's counteroffensive continues to make steady progress. In some areas, Ukrainian forces have pressed past Russia's defenses, but we see no sign that Putin's objectives have changed. So the best way to lasting peace is to step up our support for Ukraine. So I welcome the significant contributions that NATO allies are making, including the first American Abrahams uh, battle tanks that have arrived in Ukraine boosting Ukraine's capacity to push back the Russian forces. Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine is the biggest threat to our security in decades. So at the NATO summit in Vilnius, uh, we took important steps to keep our country safe. We agreed uh, the most robust uh, uh, regional uh, defense plans since the Cold War, backed by 300,000 troops on high readiness and substantial air and naval power. NATO is ready to defend every inch uh, of allied territory. And I know Latvia will continue to play its part for our security and for Ukraine's. So thank you again, Prime Minister, uh, and look forward to working with you. Once again, welcome. Thank you, Secretary General, for a fruitful meeting and opportunity to discuss issues relevant to Euro-Atlantic security. Today marks 581 days since Russia started its large-scale invasion in, Russia, in Ukraine. We can't tolerate this open aggression against democracy, freedom, and prosperity. Latvia stands strongly with Ukraine. Our military instructors are training Ukrainian forces. Our hospitals are treating wounded Ukrainian soldiers. Our people have opened their homes for Ukrainian refugees. We have given Ukraine military and non-military support worth more than 1.3% of GDP. We will continue this. It is our common task to continue supporting Ukraine until it achieves victory. To guarantee long-term peace in Europe, we have to welcome Ukraine in NATO. When helping Ukraine, we must also build up our deterrence and defense capabilities to protect every centimeter of allied territory. Adoption of new NATO regional defense plans and increase of allied presence in eastern flank demonstrates allied commitments towards stronger NATO. We are grateful to all nations that have contributed forces to EFP in Latvia. We highly value our Canadian friends for their long-term commitments to deploy brigade in Latvia. Similarly, we are grateful to Denmark 
for decision to deploy battalion in Latvia, Latvia remains committed to strengthen our defense system. We will continue to increase our defense budget with aim of 3% of GDP in 2027. Latvia will continue to invest in national military capabilities with new weapon systems. We will continue to invest in new infrastructure for hosting allied troops. We will continue to participate in NATO Kosovo force with Latvian troops. Secretary General, let me use this opportunity to thank you personally for your strong leadership in the alliance. Thank you. This includes the statements. Thank you. Thank you. I